What's up guys, it's CDSharks5 here, and today we are playing The Stanley Parable. I have only played this game once or twice, and it's I've heard a lot of people also say that it's a very, very annoying game, and it's also very, very fun to play. So I thought it would be a good way to start off a week with some weird and annoying crap. So, yeah. Uh, people say... Story of a man named Stanley. Okay. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. Sounds like this a is job. what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. Although others might have considered it soul winning, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Cool. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Is he gonna he I he gonna tell me like what to do through the whole entire thing? So it kind of does get annoying. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. He tells me what to do, and it's getting really annoying now. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Nope. Stanley was so bad at following directions, <laughs> it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Do not lie if, you're going, if you are lying, may not stop. <laughs> oh well. I don't like listening to people tell me what to do. What's in here? Oh, oh. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your can trust you jump in on someone that? else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about go up nothing forward? but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Oh, I died. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. <laughs> Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Now nah, he's gonna get annoyed if he keeps doing that crap. <laughs> All of his code try that again. gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, I just to admire it. I feel like I can't talk, because every time I go in a room, it does something like this. Wow, wow. Yes, this room. What a beautiful room. Shh. What a... But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. No. 
Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? <laughs> Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. No. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. Uh. All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. You see, there's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Yes. Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. I didn't. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Yes. Skill trees? Yes. Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a... Sp okay, okay. I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Let me press it. Aha! You see, I knew I was onto something. Where do these flashes of inspiration come from? How did I know the game needed a third door? Well, it's instinct, mostly. A calling in your gut. I really couldn't say where the idea came from, except that I, I felt it in my soul. You can't teach that, Stanley. Don't even try. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. That was my cat. She's being ring. Silly parable, blah, 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 blah. Ooh, let's go to this. I'm gonna go to this one. What? Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel no. motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, no. No. honest answers, please. No. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely wow. opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Yes, I would. Perfect. Stop. Let me boot it up. In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. What am I supposed to do? is annoying. What am I supposed to do? I'm 
I'm done with this. This is stupid. I'm not gonna walk. You heartless bastard. Mm. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? I tried. Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. This seems like it'll work. Anything's better than this. Shot. This game, really. Okay. Oh! <gasps> Well, Stanley, is this any better? Yes, yes it At is. Last, the one thing you've always desired. Yes. A game I had absolutely nothing to do with. But is it enough? Yes. Tell me that, Stanley. Yes. Will it ever be Yes. Enough? Well, I'll say this. I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. Where? <laughs> oh. mm, this will go here, no, here, and then. Let's see, what does it need? I, uh, yes, of course, and just to finish it all off, yes, it's complete. Wow. I made this, Stanley. Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. Shut up. Ah, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. Isn't it grand? Isn't it perfect? No. It could only be better if... Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Mm. Diamond everything. Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. Ooh. Oh my, it looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? No. I'm just gonna gravel. This is the only way to go, or. Can't jump at all. Oh, no, 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 no. This is far more open ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One out of five. Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. Oh, aww. Oh, my God. Why do you have to switch it like that? That's mean. That's mean. <laughs> Yes! Portal. I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. You, trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. It's Portal. One of the best games ever. Oh, it's a puzzle. Critical thinking, Stanley. You're 40. Genius. I know. No, actually, you know what? I think that's plenty. I really don't care much to see you stumble through any more of these games. And I highly doubt you're any wiser for... Is there an objective to this? So I cannot see it all. Ooh, a light at the end of the tunnel. That's. Is that someone? 
I don't know. I have no idea. I can't see. For once, I can actually talk. It's a fun game, but it's also very annoying. Ooh, very, very dark, mysterious room. I'm gonna go in it. Nothing. What the freak am I supposed to do then? I wonder what he found. Nothing. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. Okay. Been waiting a long time. What would you know? Someone was following Stanley. He was sure of it. If he checked over his shoulder now, he would surely catch them. It was only a matter of time. Uh, now he's talking to me again. And then it just resets. What the freak? When Stanley came to a set Fine. of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet, there was not a single person here either. Who cares? Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, <laughs> hoping he might find an answer there. Down up. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Ooh, pretty. Executive bathroom. Sounds about right. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, Four, five. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Oh, that's creepy. I ain't going down there. That's the only option, though. That's creepy. Deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Wow, this is creepy. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Escape. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Oh, not much further I go. I'm gonna go this way, I don't care. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. No. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Oh, crap. What are you? Stanley was 
inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. I don't, I don't. Stanley can't see the big picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his Give me out. great loss, like plugging the eyeballs from a blind man. So he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Oh, oh, oh! I like you better than the other guy. Do I go this way now? I can't see. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? What the free When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? I remember that, that painting. Oh, I'm dead? Buttons on too. I'm gonna go over this way. This is confusing. I don't even understand this game at all. Um. Boss's office. Boss's office. What are you? Office clock. Wow, everything's like I'm, I'm out, on a museum. And I'm not that special, people. Jeez. Freedom ending. I'm not gonna read the bottom part. Ooh, what is this? Looks like a Windows computer. Ah, oh, you did that for no reason. What is this? Oh. Monitor room elevator. Well, everything's freaking on here. I'm not gonna go that way right now. I wanna look at everything else. Oh, like, can you even see the outside? No, it's super eight. This is my office. Stanley's office. From the left to the right, the uh, evolution of Stanley's office over time. The first was created in November 2011, the second in March 2012, and the third one in February 2013. Okay, so that one, so that one, then it's that one. Then this is the newest one. The only thing that's different is the drawers open. That's all, whatever. That's stupid. Anyway, let's go over here. Look at more of my mem memories. What is this thing? Narrator emails. Oh, I don't feel like reading this. Um, what is this? Warzone? Fighting aliens, what? Oh, that's what that been. I don't find that. Does this just take me to the back? Back to the thing? Ooh, printer. Or a copy or whatever it is. Uh the office. Okay. Okay, we're back here now. I'm guessing I'm gonna go down that long mysterious hallway that I didn't want to go down in the first place, but it's the only really option to get out of here, so ooh, wait, what's over here? Oh just another stable, right? Then he pushed the number four, what? Yeah, I don't understand that. I don't care. That's annoying. <clears throat> let's go over here. Because this is really the only th option we have. And let's go down the mysterious little... Is it here? Wait, did we go over here yet? No, we haven't, actually.
Oh, this is all boring. This is all boring. This is all boring. I don't care. Wait, 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 wait. The game is not paused. Begin the game again. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No. No, perhaps not. I told you. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. I told you. Listen to me. You can still save those two. You can push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. No. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now, and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time choose. I win. Hello. Well, that was good. <clears throat> good game. I hope you guys um enjoyed that. I hopefully we'll be playing more of that. It's a very confusing game. There's tons and tons and tons of different endings that you can have. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this vi video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. It does help. And follow my Twitter where I give you updates on every video that are coming up. And yeah, stay tuned for next Wednesday, for this Wednesday's and Friday's video, which I play Minecraft and uh, Outlast DLC Whistleblower, and I'll see you guys next time.